Welcome back, everybody, to Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Today, we're going to be continuing World 4. Uh, my plan is to get stages 3 and 4 done in this video. We Uh, fire? I might want that. So I will take the fire. Oh, jeez. God! My opinion of ice levels in general is that they kind of suck. Like, typically, me playing any given ice level, I complain about the lost traction that you have. Oh, there's one up over there. Who cares? About the lost attraction you have when you're on ice. And this is pretty much a common complaint for pretty much any gamer who has played ice levels in any game ever. And then you have freaking swimming where most of the time in swimming the physics don't even fucking work right. Whoa, hello. Oh, jeez. Go down here, and then go up here. Because they alternate, I believe, between upper and lower and such. Oh, jeez. Uh... I needed spear, didn't I? Uh, shoot. Can I get spear from a place? I am going to check. Hold on. So yeah, apparently, I need to take the spear from this room and uh, go into the next room with it and not lose that power-up. Isn't that hilarious? Well, at least spear is one of those power-ups that you keep underwater and you can use it. As opposed to most every other power in the game. Never hit that guy for some reason. And yeah, hilariously, you can make this just kind of disappear. And there you go, there's the first MacGuffin of this level. It's so nice to be forgetful of things. Okay, this is the one where they alternate from the upper path and then to the lower path such. Okay. 
Okay, we need that to crash into there. So I can get my health recharged. Holy crap! Ha! You cannot see me! You don't even know I exist, I just phase through you. I can just go over this. I need to bring the invisibility crystal, that's just great. I do believe it does respawn, so... If you forget it back there, you're not cooked. At least I don't think you are. Or maybe you are absolutely cooked. Fuck! Sometimes the moves related to the dash actually take time to actually use. Okay, here's the crystal. So I guess... I guess I was supposed to, uh... Shit. I guess I was supposed to, uh... Use those blocks... Back there. Which is kind of hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna put you over there. That's gonna run out. God damn it. Okay, I need fire. Yeah, because that will happen. Ah, Jesus. Okay, what is over here? I'm kind of curious. Ah. That is where the second MacGuffin is. So I think the invisibility crystal does respawn, so... Yep, it's right here. Uh, I can go up a ladder with it, right? Oh, I could have just done that all along. Oh well. I am stupid, apparently. Okay, just go through that. Just phase through all that. And there we go. Ha ha. Enemies not made to cope with water are instantly killed when they come in contact with water, which is kind of crazy. <coughs> because you all know, water is a pretty essential part of life. I think that I need to use a cutting tool in Photoshop in order to uh, gain access to that room. Isn't that hilarious? I am stuck up here. That's great. God damn current. Current shouldn't kill a guy. Come on, throw your thing. Shit! Why didn't you do the jumping thing? I'm pressing too like crazy. First death, and it's in World 4. How fucking pathetic! You suck at this game, and you should die for your sins! That was absolutely horrific. Come on, man. You should wait until at least the plot twist and until you die. Jesus Christ, man. There we go, that's what you do with that. To, and to make it go up like that, you can pretty much just hold up on the thing when you have a charged one like this, and then just, it just flies like that. If it, essentially, if it doesn't come back to you, it'll essentially just keep bouncing around. Logic tells me that I need to hit that switch down there. And that you can hold down and do all that stuff. So there is the third MacGuffin. Ok, 
kill you again. Okay, so the joke here is to not get sucked into the thing while there's current. That's that's pretty hilarious, if by hilarious you mean kind of cheap and nasty. Oh right, this fucking thing. I'm gonna get rid of you, because you're gonna be a problem. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that to come down, and then... Let's go like this. God damn it! Everybody's a problem around here. Get away from the explosion. I think I've mentioned this several times now that I can actually hurt you if you're close. Can I actually get the key up there? I don't... Money tells me that I can't. So I'm gonna have to bring another bomb-like object. In order to... Do a thing. Which requires multiple surgeries. It's a very complex process. Fuck. Okay. Fuck! What the hell was that? What the bloody hell was that? I'll tell you what that was. That was bullshit, man. There we go, that hit the other one. And therefore, we have access to this and the uh, second of these things. Okay, and the second of these things is essentially... ...to help you kill that guy really fast. And then essentially you take this... I'm going to, uh, throw the key over there. Kill that guy. Throw the key over there. Hit the switch. Uh, this could be a problem, though. Yeah, I can't exactly just throw the key up there. Because they really thought this one out. So what you do with this one is you take the water, just hit that like that, and then just go across like this. So I'm pretty sure you need the uh, water power up to get this last uh, MacGuffin. So that be the uh, four MacGuffins for this stage. Okay, so our first tragedy of this playthrough strikes. I didn't think it would be as early as 4-3, but whatever. What is done is done. Let's move on to 4-4. I think it's telling me that I want this power-up. Just a hunch. Okay, it's one of these levels that has wind and such. So, I usually go against the laws of physics here, just in order to slow myself down, so I don't- just so I don't miss anything. That's essentially my strategy for this, instead of going fast, so this is definitely not speedrun tactics, but it's don't miss anything tactics. Did I need that spark? I sure hope not. Stars keep falling. They can just keep on falling ahead of me. Mm 
we'll eventually catch up to them. Ah, here we go. Up here is MacGuffin number one. This gets us back down to the world we know. Okay, so essentially we have our umbrella of protection here. I only say umbrella of protection because that's like one of the things in the news, like one of the oh, one of our local weather stations. That's uh, the, uh, one of our local stations weather thing. I'm very good at explaining things. Okay. There's an updraft that will protect you. Uh, it is telling me that I want stone for some strange reason. Okay, this is protective. Although that is not protective. What the fuck? Okay. Let's do this and then run like heck. Get a whole bunch of stars. Okay. I hope that umbrella wasn't exactly essential when my thing is glitching up on me. Be right back. This has been a train wreck. Absolute fucking disaster. Okay, so essentially we gotta beat one of these guys back down again. Shoot. See, he has more stuff like that to go down, so it's going to take longer for him to do that than it will for me. But he has a shorter thing to run. Destroy him like that. And that's the second MacGuffin of the stage. Hmm. We seem to have another snowball here. And we're actually going to have ice bowling pins. That's great. to knock over. With prizes at the end and such. Okay, you gotta time this. Time it so you don't fall to your doom, pretty much. Yay, more stuff! Yes. Keep giving me more stuff. I like stuff. Hit right on the snowman like that. Yeah! Explode that and it reveals the portal. To that dimension type place thing. Okay, this wall is advancing downward. Which is pretty tragic. Just kind of run like this. Being careful and dodging spikes. One up ain't worth it, to be honest with you. Okay. Now why am I not running? Dude! Frickin' non friction. God damn it. That's essentially how to not get hit there. That's essentially how to not get it here.
Ah, shoot. Yes, crush that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Crush all those. The joke here is to not go too fast, otherwise you get crushed. Which is pretty tragic. We'll go with Cutter over Bomb. Because honestly. Stuff and things. Ah, jeez. Yeah, bitch. Hey, you know what? This is taking too long. Yeah, just fly around and dart around and such. Alright, you do this attack. Which you, uh, I've learned pretty much that if you stand in the direct middle, it won't hit you. It's kind of weird, that. Okay, those just fire straight down at you. Watch out for that move. Yeah, he pretty much does that three times. I'll just teleport over here. Yeah, pretty much just stand in the straight in the straight middle. He'll never hit you with that attack in particular. May hit you with something else and just kind of twat you like that, but overall, not terribly difficult. And with that, we're back out here. So let's see what we can get. We will be getting an extra life, which is nice. Okay, we will be doing that stage and this world's boss next time as we finish World 3. So, see you then. Or, World 4. God damn it.